So this is uh, the, the other uh, pitching project that is uh, uh, after we collect the data, uh, what kind of uh, 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 data analytic method we can apply to, to the manufacturing data. This is a, a project corporate between the Sheffield and uh, Cambridge. So they have, uh, after we get the, the receive the data, they have uh, a lot of a challenge to apply the, uh, for example, machine learning for manufacturing data set. The first is the, the existing, existing data set in the manufacturing uh, business are normally low uh, uh, quantity and uh, low quality. So what is uh, the quantity is the, 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 the size the, of the, the data samples. For example, if it's a manual inspection record, every day they only co collect three data point. That's uh, quite a few uh, samples. And the low quality is means uh, the, the manual recording, they are not uh, always recording. Sometimes they, they, they lost the paper sheet. And sometimes the, the, the people are holiday and sometimes they write the wrong figure on the paper sheet. And uh, we can't uh, fully trust the, the data. The quality is uh, varied. The, the second challenge is even you now have a, a IoT system which can uh, digitalize of the sensor uh, instrument. Uh, you still need a long period to collect the um, incident uh, event, for example, the machine failure, because the manufacturing equipment equipment uh, always uh, designed for, for uh, very robust. Uh, the, the time period for them to have a, a breakdown, normally uh, have, you need to wait a long time, for example, months, someone can, can over years. So whether you, you, you can have that enough time to, to collect the uh, uh, enough incident event, that is a challenge for a small project. And the, the third is the manufacturing data, uh, you need uh, in deep domain knowledge to understand and to explain uh, the data to, to, the, uh, to the engineers. Uh, because uh, most of manufacturing data, if you look at the, the data sheet, they are numeric, but the, the, normally they, they, a lot of the data doesn't have a numeric meanings. For example, one is maybe is a state of a, a, a machine and they just uh, are indexed by numeric, but they, they have a total different meaning. And uh, so that uh, make it uh, difficult to, to, to directly process the data set. So we are using the uh, a case that uh, in a, a electric coating plant, as you say, that they just uh, have a, a uh, clean uh, surface metal and put into the paint tank. And after the process, uh, they will have a, a coat on the, the surface to protect the metal. So they have a, a, a pipeline system and they have a filter inside it. And we are trying to collect the, the, the pressure, the flow uh, through this pipeline and to the, identify the, the uh, quality problem of the, the filters and to trying to understand when we need to change and when we need to uh, replace the filter and predict the fault of the filters. So as you can see, this is a, a data we collect. Uh, I have in briefly introduced uh, in the last presentation and we have two data set. One is collect manually, manual inspection and the other is uh, collected by uh, IoT system. So, the uh, IoT system, we, we uh, have a, a 15 days data. Uh, assume we have a very limited time to collect the, the data for a small project. And the manual inspection have a, a seven years uh, recall, but the quality are very different. Uh, IoT, uh, IoT system can collect very high resolution data. So you can see they have 8,000 uh, data sample per day, but the manual data set only have a, a at most three samples per day. So the quality are very different. Uh, so uh, that is the data we collect for the project. And we have published this data set on, uh, online on the Cargo.com. And uh, you can have a check and uh, uh, hope that would be also interest for you and for your research. And uh, we are trying a, a solution to uh, solve the, the challenge of uh, 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 low quantity and low quality of the data. Uh, we are trying to apply uh, deep learning and transform learning uh, method. So on the right side, you can see the deep learning uh, me uh, method we are using. We are using different uh, layer of different uh, deep learning ne neural network. 
for example, the first layer is convolutional neural network, and the rest consists a lot of uh, uh, recurrent neural network, include the uh, um, long short uh, time memory. And uh, the right hand side is the basic concept of transfer learning that uh, uh, you use one data set and to, to train a model for a specific task. If the, the, the data set and the task is similar, have a kind of a similar similarity with other tasks and other data set, actually you can adopt the, the knowledge learned by the, the, the source model to a target model. So that is a, a called a transfer learning. And we are also using this for the manual data set and the, um, the IoT data set. So the, the, after the experiment, the result is quite uh, significant. So you can see they have three experiment. So the first experiment is we only use manual data set. Uh, and you can see this is a quite long, uh, quite a lot of data and it can fit the general trend of the, uh, the, the process condition. But uh, in the, the middle lane, that is the detail of the prediction and uh, uh, actually, the data haven't included the, the detail, so it can cannot learn any uh, uh, high frequency uh, detail. And you can see this is the arrow uh, how it learn. It's not that ideal. They have a lot of drift uh, for the ideal position. And uh, the middle, uh, the other test is only use the IoT data set. And uh, uh, you can see the the. If we just train the, the model uh, with IoT data set, actually uh, it, it's failed to learn any useful result. Uh, even the data set have very uh, uh, high resolution uh, details. It can't learn it because just a, uh, a deep learning is a data hungry method. And here is they, they are too, too less, uh, too, too small data set, you can't train them. And uh, the third experiment is uh, you, you first uh, train the model by the manual and then you uh, manual data set and you, you use transfer learning to, to uh, use, uh, adopt the, the trained uh, parameter to the new model and uh, use the IoT data uh, to train it again. So you can see uh, then it trained quite well. Uh, it can uh, capture the, the general trend and the detailed uh, information and the accuracy is quite high. And you can see this is a, Bar chart is different uh, uh, arrow, uh, mean uh, absolute arrow for different uh, uh, scenarios. And uh, after transfer learning, the error has been a significant reduced. So this is a, a quite effective uh, way to, uh, uh, to uh, overcome the challenge of data shortage and uh, low quality data. And we also uh, haven't used any uh, feature engineering uh, during our uh, deep learning training. So that can reduce the, uh, the dependency on the domain knowledge to select the features. Uh, our colleague in, in Cambridge also uh, have developed a, a demonstrator that this is the agent-based uh, system. Uh, they uh, uh, simulate different uh, machines. So these are uh, uh, multiple machines that are doing a manufacturing process. And we can simulate in the agent can simulate different parameter of the, the each machines, and uh, so this is also we can uh, collect the, the 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 real state of the machines and we can predict uh, uh, the 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 quality uh, uh, level for for the process. You can say uh, it's flat at the beginning and then is uh, likely to have a, a quality problem. And uh, at the right hand side is different uh, machines and they have bar chart is different parameter of the machines. And if you see the, the red bar is, uh, so this parameter is uh, very likely uh, uh, become a anomaly and become a problem. So we can detect the, 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 the probability of the, the quality problem in different machines. So we can measure the uncertainty. Uh, so that is uh, my presentation. I uh, hope you enjoyed and welcome uh, any questions. Thank you very much, Boyang. Um, has anyone got any questions at this point? Or we could move on because we're 
short for time and then we could have questions at the end if you think of any during the presentation. I've got a quick one if I may, Kate. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Sorry, David Scott from Newcastle. I really enjoyed your presentation, Bo Young, but both of them. Um, um, in terms of your, your, your second presentation, um, what you presented was, 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 was very high level research, very high quality. I'm just wondering about the, the typical end user in industry. Um, how could they use this? Because in, as you know, many manufacturing SMEs, the, the how can I put it, um, not, not all um, managers dealing with this type of um, process are particularly well um, versed in IoT or IT or, or particularly numerate. So what, what level of um, user would you envisage using this? Some sort of graduate mechanical engineer level? Is that your sort of okay. target? The end. Uh, th that's a good question and we, we have a lot of uh, good and bad experience for this question. So first is communication, uh, the, the process of uh, uh, data analytics and machine learning to, to the uh, manufacturing uh, uh, shop floor people is quite difficult. We are trying to explain this uh, process to the maintenance manager and basically um, they think this is a rocket science and nothing really went within. Uh, so uh, if we, we show the, the probability of the, the uh, um, anomaly detection, they, they probably they are tired of looking at this chart. Uh, but uh, uh, it's useful for them. Uh, so there is a case uh, could uh, uh, quite useful uh, to explain the, the use, usage of a predictive maintenance. So let's say in, in, in Christmas, Christmas is coming, everyone wants to go home, right? So. Uh, the, the, if everyone go home, something could happen that the machine break down uh, during the, the holidays, if you can't predict it. But with the prediction uh, we can provide, uh, so we can predict the, the machine is, uh, which machine is likely uh, uh, break down uh, in the second day of uh, uh, Christmas holiday. And you can lo locate a, a person to, to watch out for that. And you can let other uh, uh, people go home, uh, uh, enjoy the holiday safely. So, so uh, this is an actual problem for the manufacturing. They, they happen a couple of times after the holiday. They come back and they find some machine breakdown, and uh, uh, the the shop floor is flooded with the, the liquid, and they're very costly to to repair them. If not, if the, they are not react in time, so so. But uh, with the uh, uh, predict uh, um, function and this kind of power of data analytics, we can quite accurately uh, predict the, the event. For example, in next three days or five days, what will happen, what is likely to happen, and what machine is going to break down. So that is quite useful for the, at least for the maintenance team. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thanks very much, Boyan.